Welcome back to my Let's Play for Jade's Journey 2. Have to admit, I still don't like this game because it has all the same faults as the original does. Which is to say, it's goddamn awful. But, you know, we started this, so we gotta finish it, right? Ugh, you always gotta start where you finish. Hopefully. I know I got some old Let's Plays that still need work, but... We'll get to them someday. Someday. Ugh. Okay, we'll just have you bash stuff. You, um, shine the light of justice. You just go Dragon Blade on them. That way we can hopefully finish them off relatively quickly. I mean, some of them do give out nice, um, items, I guess, but I really just want to be out of this fight. I mean, I could farm, you know, around that one point, the, um, 50% recover, um, all item, I suppose, but it ain't worth it. It really ain't. Like, even if I got a ton of levels up, level ups, it just wouldn't be worth it. Like, I just want to be out of here. So far, so we gotta work our way all the way back out, because they don't like to let you quick travel, you know, out of dungeons or anything, or remove the enemies after you've killed them all. They're like, no, that would be too easy. You gotta backtrack through all this stuff. Because we love backtracking! It's like, what is this, Digimon World 3 all over again? I still need to finish that one. I also need to do grinding ants, that's kinda on the um, back foot a lot more than some of these other ones, unfortunately. Okay, we'll shine on you, and then you know, Dragon Blade. I don't care if it's using up a lot of magical power, Dragon Blade for the quick win. Because I'm hoping I can dodge a good chunk of these enemies. Of course, that's probably foolish, because we're probably going to get hit by a good chunk of them. Because some of them are way faster than others, because raisins, that's why. Yeah, I know, I'm ripping off Futurama. But I don't care! Sort of like Salem saying his, um, middle of her pride won't care that he's a cat, because he bought her a fancy diamond ring using, you know, someone else's credit card. Because that's what Salem does. Spends other people's money. Oh, I guess we learned a new skill. Heal Rain? Eh, I don't know if it's worthwhile. Be using that right now. Plus, we have cheaper options for that, like I said. Come on, just let me finish it. Why does everyone have to be faster than me? Like, even the zombies, which you think would be, you know, slowly lumbering undead in the butt, you know, outrun my party for the most part. It's madness. Madness, I say! Like, what are these? Like, rage zombies? Gosh darn, I hate these corners. Like, there's no point in even having touch encounters if you're going to put everything in a small gosh darn room. There's no way to dodge these enemies effectively because, you know, it's a small room. I hate touch encounters in narrow hallways. And I know I've probably griped about it before, but it's been a while since I worked on this one, okay? So it feels brand new all over again. Because last time I did a lot of these episodes, it was in one big group. Because <sighs> I just cannot stand this game. And more people need to seriously start dropping magic herbs, because this stuff is expensive, man. Seriously. I was in this game are way overpriced. Ugh, just go away. So that part is out. Yeah, I guess we need to go this way. I hope. Okay, dodge you. Thank God we managed to dodge that bullet. I don't know if we're going the right way or not, but I guess we'll try this way. Throw out some shard rain. Have you attack, you just throw a shine, will you? I know, we could probably beat some of these guys to death and save on the um, magic, but screw it. I just want to end fights quickly. Ugh, so we can get back to working on story progression. As bad as it's going to be, because we're going to have to go to another area, you know, just full of enemies that are going to be a pain in the butt to kill. Oh, great. And we got another one coming up behind us. 
definitely what I wanted. Can they seriously give Helen a group attack? Like, she's the one character you think would have a group light spell, and she still doesn't have one. Like, I seriously need one. I need more spellcasters, and I'll be clear rooms faster. You don't give me useless green apples. Ugh, oh, God. Just boom. Pack around it. <sighs> okay, right here, I guess. Come on. Get out of there. And of course, the other one comes from the front, where I can't dodge as easily. Of course. Well, I guess we'll go with that. And we'll just have you attack right now. Well, we softened him up. But we're still gonna take a ton of damage. Like, come on, just end it. Jeez. The fight continues, I guess. Well, I'll oh, finish it up. Of course, Jade's almost out of magic at this point, too. It says a lot when the spellcasters are running out of MP. Ugh. I think this is the wrong way. Problem is, once an enemy starts chasing you, they don't like to give up. Let's see, is this the exit? No, nope, we gotta go down that hallway. Gosh darn it. I really did not want to have to go down that hallway. Well, managed to fake you out. That one, good luck, right? Now that other one coming up behind us. <sighs> Let's just do this. Ugh, this is getting painful. Like, the backtracking in this game isn't fun, because I can't even curve stomp these enemies even after being the boss for this area. And the bosses are jokes, because you can just status lock them. The regular enemies are far worse, because they just nickel and dime you to death. And oftentimes you're not getting worthwhile rewards from the fights. So it feels like they're really trying to nickel and dime you to death, you know, by just slowly eating away at your health and all your other resources. They're just so expensive, you can't really stockpile them. So everything in this game costs a gosh darn arm and a leg. <sighs> Guess tedious farming is definitely the way to go when you want to play a game, right? <sighs> I'm in your debt once again. Thank you for rescuing his majesty. Yeah, I don't care. You want to explain what's going on? Yeah, we just did what we had to do. So you know who, um, Toronto is? Yes, he's an old enemy of the kingdom. My father fought against him for years. He never managed to actually stop him. Toronto's very powerful. Do you mean he never managed to kill him? Because I'm guessing if you're the ruler and he was your father's former enemy, that he did manage to stop him, if not eliminate him. Like, he sent him running and ruling away for years, but he's always coming back, because, you know, he's like a cockroach. He just never dies. If he's an enemy of the kingdom, why have I never heard of him? did everything we could to keep it a secret. Troy's had evil plans. We were afraid that if people knew about him, they would become desperate. I see. Anyway, why kidnap you? I have no idea, because honestly, killing me probably would have been the better idea. Well, maybe. I mean, he does have evil plans, and evil does like to hang out with evil sometimes. So I suppose that is a possibility. It's far more likely than having two main villains in a game, right? Yes, that is possible. Speaking of, I think you should pay a visit to someone who would be able to tell us about her. Plans with the orbs. I know that we would be to prepare ourselves. Yeah, that's just terrible English right there. Who's that? Sora. What, from Digimon? She lives? 
What about Biomon? Does she still live? Yeah, it's a very isolated place. She asked us to keep that a secret as she wanted peace and quiet. <sighs> that sounds like her. So we're going to meet Sora. That's nice. Well, she doesn't have a Biomon. Does she have the Keyblade? Well, where can we find her? Her house is located west from here, past the um, Fisherman Path. Alright, that's where we're going. Okay, Fisherman Path, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sora's house west from here, past the Fisherman Path, so west. So we're heading, you know, out of the castle and go f have fun in the desert again. Do you have tons of magic herbs for cheap? After all, I need a lot of these things. We're constantly running out of magic. 70 MP, huh? This might actually be more price effective. <sighs> yeah, we'll go with that. That's not particularly worthwhile. Those might come in handy. So now we're probably too broke to pay for um proper healing, right? Can I please rest for free here? Thank you. I mean, I guess we could technically go back into the underground path and kill more enemies to farm more cash, but I just want to get out of here. Like, for the love of all things holy, like, just let me leave, right? We've been here long enough. Let me guess, this is the fisherman's path? Yep. I'm guessing we're gonna have to get on that boat at some point. You know what they say about boats? Bust out another thousand. Yeah, there's like no way to maneuver around here. Ah! You know what we got? Enemy crabs? My gosh. Those don't look like crazy fish, they look like giant enemy lobsters. Oh, and I, oh, I guess the crazy fish are the things in the front. Okay. What's so crazy about them? They don't look that crazy. <sighs> you wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. Come on. Finishing blow. Ah, that was too slow. Just fall over, will you? That's not eating crab. It looks more like a lobster, if you ask me, with that tail thingy. Or is that meant to be like a stinger on the back? Okay. Do I want to go this way, or do I go the other way? Darn, I got double check back for the item. Screw that, they're coming in groups now. I don't want to fight that many people. I'm sick and tired of fighting the enemies in this game. Yep, trick you and just keep moving on. I doubt that item's gonna really blow my mind. At best, it's some cheap equipment, right? Ah, oh, jeez. They just don't give you a lot of room here, do they? Okay, we'll just shine on these guys. Dragon Blade. Try and this fight quickly, but let's face it. Fertrand's too slow. We're gonna have to eat, you know, four hits before we probably finish this. Oh, come on. Just end it already. Oh, and they're still alive? Ugh. Just finish them off the ice, then. I just want to keep moving forward. Ugh. I mean, I guess I could technically work on trying to get more level-ups, but it's just... Ugh. These fights are so boring. I just have more fun playing human, you know, where you're playing as a barn owl running around killing things. 
and capturing human monsters, you know, to use in battle. Because it's a knockoff of Pokemon, only you play as an owl instead of a human. You go around catching humans to be your slaves. Because that's all Pokemon is, right? How to efficiently become a slave owner? <laughs> because, let's face it, what can you call it when you make, you know, monsters participate in legalized cockfights? Because that's all Pokemon is. What if cockfighting was legal? Yeah, I know, it's pretty brutal. Same with dog fighting. Oh, well, we got free high potion. No one cares about that. You wanna get me um jumping up and joy, give me a full heal. You know, for the entire party off one of these fight guys. Gosh darn it, it's trying to be clever there and it didn't work. And bring in the dragon blade. It probably ain't gonna be enough to finish anyone off before we absorb way more damage than I'd like. Probably gonna have to have Halen do some healing here. And then probably think about, you know, conserving my magic when it comes to Helen, because I'm just gonna need so many heal spells to get through here. And you just know there's gonna be a boss waiting for us around here somewhere. Because there always is. Like, everywhere you go, there's gotta be a boss. Like, Helen cut herself off and she put a giant, you know, fish in charge of protecting her. Because that definitely makes sense. Then again, if this was the boss fight, we'd be seeing a heal point. Okay, I guess we'll use one of our ethers up on you. I guess you could use that. Um... Yeah, that'll do for now. Oh, great, I can't walk for those flowers. Because flowers, you know, are unbeatable. I guess we gotta feel like we're that one alien kid from the fairy god, uh, um, fairy godparents, you know? Where that alien's like, oh, flowers, like, that's the, one of the biggest things in the universe that's true evil. Like, they hate all the good things in the world, and just, like, destruction. Ugh, okay. That oughta at least help speed this process up. I still don't think they're mutant crabs, though. Though I guess that is meant to be like a stinger on the back, so... They're weird mutant stingrays. Why would you want mutant stingrays? I have no idea. You are likely to convince me to have a hermit crab as a pet. Though, oddly enough, hermit crabs are meant to live in groups. They get really lonely if you know if it's just one hermit crab. They've been known to actually commit suicide over that. As um, one of my um, former co-workers found out, because I guess she had one that had gotten really big and fat. Then came home, picked it up, and it just fell out of its shell because it committed suicide. Because it was so lonely. Don't see hamsters doing stuff like that. Of course, hamsters don't like having companions. Hamsters, like, actively, you know, encourage you to keep every other hamster away because they'll fight. I remember one time when I was a young kid, you know, I was dumb off the thing, you know, it'd be a guy to do the breed hamsters and put the male in with the girl hamster, and the girl hamster was lifting her tail up, you know, indicating she wanted to mate, and the male kept ignoring her, so she eventually turned around and attacked him. She's like, like, either do me or get lost. That was her message. Like, like, this tank ain't big enough for the two of us, despite being a 55 gallon tank. A night vest, huh? Well, let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll up her defenses a little. Come on, like, move over to the side, will you, so I have a chance to sneak past you? Damn it, there's no getting around that one. Ugh, just constantly feel trapped. Like, if there's a third game for this, I am not playing it. Like, it's gonna be so awful, I can already tell there's no way I'd want to play it. Because this developer doesn't work on trying to improve, like, at all. Like, how fast can I shoot a, shoot a game out, you know, 
and hope people don't complain about it. That seems to be the motto here. <sighs> well, that's been taken care of at least. And so far, I don't know why these two, the two games couldn't have been combined into just one big game. Well, let's keep going, I guess. Come on. Get out here, you annoying son of a gun. Jeez. Ugh. Just wanna dodge this stuff. Is it too much to ask? Did he left alone? <sighs> Seriously, I need better skills, don't I? The only way to get better skills is to participate in boring battles. And the only effective way to do that is usually to sit around a farm point. Or a heal spot, so you know, you can just constantly get re-healed over and over again for free. I don't understand the low payout on these fights, man. Like, 28G, like, I have to spend almost that much just on the MP recovery after the fights. If not, way more. Oh, I managed to dodge that bullet. <sighs> Come on. Well, thankfully that one wasn't moving towards us. And we got more narrow hallways. They just overstay their gosh darn welcome. Reminds me of um being on the open plane in Final Fantasy 13. Like you get there, like oh the game opens up, but there's nothing to do there, and it's mostly just narrow hallways again. And you got one giant huge plane you can explore, and what are you gonna really do there besides kill monsters? They're side quests, but they're all kill monster side quests. Yeah, I guess I don't particularly care for, you know, going hunting down items for people either, but at least it gives some variety. You know, when every other quest is go kill this, go kill that. I can only spend so much time killing monsters, after all. It's like doing ship grinding in infinite space, you know, where you need to get up more money so you can pay for a big expensive ship. I can just spend hours, you know, moving cargo back and forth. Okay, we got through here without a boss fight. Well, that's new. Makes me wonder what's going to happen when we enter Sora's house. Huh. Guess we're just going to go straight in. You again? Well, how did you tell us you were alive? We have come to visit you. It's a chosen one. I've been surrounded by people my whole life. I guess I want to be on my own now. I guess I can understand that. So Jade here is the new chosen one. And she's quite jaded. A great job. We lost the orbs! The one thing we were supposed to protect! Oh, you can, huh? Oh, that's more than enough. Young boy, why are you staring at me? Or you look... old. Yes, I'm not immoral as... Vertra and Helen here. I grow older. Oh, that explains it. So you're here because of Morgana, right? Yes, she's giving us problems again. I understand. It's very hard to understand her. Anyway, how can I help you? Yes, what could she do with your orbs? Yep, she could easily destroy the world! What on earth are you doing here? Dilly dying about? Well, no, duh, it's not good. Now, how do we stop it? Oh, only one place, huh? What's that? Feed you temple? How could I forget about it? Exactly. There's a magical artifact in the temple powerful enough to release the seal in the... Don't you mean on the orbs? Not in? I see. I guess we have a new destination, then. Yeah, let's hope. Yep, another aisle. Well, there's a boat outside, so let's just steal it. Yep, that'd be great. 
Yep, a gift. With a real king, huh? Well, I guess we should get going then. The faster we get there, the better. Got that right. Yes, pleasure. But we need to heal, because we are tired. But apparently we can't go upstairs. Do we get free healing from the cutscene? No. Can we get free healing from the person here? Can you, like, heal my injuries? Damn you! And there's nothing to steal in this house, and there's no books to read. Like, you think she'd have, like, sort of a journal or something of what happened, you know, on his or her journey that we could look into. The game's like, no, 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 you don't get any of that fun stuff. You get a boat! That no one was asking for. Well, next time I guess we're taking a boat ride. And probably getting attacked by a Kraken. Because let's face it, when you put a boat in a game like this, you gotta throw a sea monster in there at some point, right? Till next time, then. See ya.